reality is if you don't get out of debt, then decisions are made by those who borrow you the money. Bankers, they will make decisions for you. Bondholders will be making your public policy decisions for you. Because as your credit rating begins to downgrade, as the Moody's of the world and financial investors and speculators start making judgment calls on whether you're running your finances correctly, they will constrain your ability to make the right decisions for your residents in your province. And I'll give you an example, Madam Speaker, from my province of Alberta. In the 1990s, the Ralph Klein government, Premier Ralph Klein, when he took over, had a terrible situation, a massive deficit, large volume of debt. He was tasked, and he tasked at the time uh, Stockwell Day and Jim Dinning, two successive treasurers, to get him back on track. And it required the closure of entire government departments. They weren't doing it because they had some great love for putting civil servants out of work. Those who were borrowing the money came to them and said, we are not borrowing you one more penny. There is not one more penny. They're, they hit the debt wall. And you know what happens when you hit the debt wall, Madam Speaker? You are incapable of borrowing and paying your debt interest. When your debt interest becomes your second largest line item in your budget, you have a spending problem and you have to stop. And those people who suffer the most when those decisions have to be made is those people who earn less than $90,000. They're usually lucky if they have an income. Usually they're losing their jobs at that moment. Now, the Cayman oil and gas boom, specifically natural gas boom on the royalty side that helped Alberta get itself out of its debt, and by 2002, 2003, had massively paid down its debt, paid in full. It was a great sign that Ralph Klein used to hold, was very, very proud of it. And that's an important image to remember. It's happened to provinces before. There's no reason why it can't happen to the federal government again.